Hey guys, and today I'll be showing you how you can make custom road decals like these quickly in City Skylines without needing to use 3D modeling software. So the first thing you need in order to do this is to download Mod Tools, and this is a mod on the workshop. After you subscribe to the mod, what you next want to do is launch the game. So once the game is loaded, you want to go to your content manager, go to mods, and you want to make sure that mod tools is enabled. And once you do that, what you want to do is just load a game you have. So once your game loads, basically what you want to do, you don't need this window right now. So you want to go to the search panel here, and I want to find an existing road decal in the game that I want to modify. So in my case, I'm just going to search for bus lane. I'm going to search for bus. I'm here. I'm just going to find this bus lane decal. Pretty much once I have it selected, what I want to do is do control E. And this opens the scenic floor part of mod tools. And pretty much I just scroll down to tool controller. Then inside tool controller, I want to go to prop tool. And in this long list here, I want to go to where it says M underscore prefab, and then click on the preview button here. And then I want to click on dump mesh plus textures. And this button pretty much puts the bus lane, texture image files, and 3D model inside your city skylines import folder. So next one we want to do is go to your desktop and go to the City Skylines data folder. And then inside the folder, basically the, the bus asset is saved in the add-ons folder and then inside import. And pretty much here are all the, the associated files with that bus line road decal. So pretty much next what we want to do is open up this image file that ends with a underscore A in a image editor of our choice, but any image editor that lets you adjust text spacing should work. If you don't have any image editor, you can also use a free one such as GIMP. Once we have our image editor open, we can make a new text box, then center it, and then go here to your font menu. And you wanna find a font that's similar to the font in the background image here. So what I found is that Verdana actually works well and the bold version of Verdana. What I need to do pretty much is do some stretching and scaling of the font in order for it to actually look good. And one technique I also find is helpful is to make the text a different color. So you can see if the new text overlaps the original text well. So in here I'm just going to adjust the, the spacing and the horizontal and vertical scale. Gonna stretch this a bit. And also I might just increase this font size as well. So I'm just going to try to make my new text layer as similar to the original text as I can. So once it's close enough, what I next want to do is make another layer and drag it to the bottom and pretty much make it black like this, and then uncheck the original. Now I can make this text white again. And now instead of it saying bus lane, I can make it say toll lane, or really anything you want. And here I'm just going to save it. I can go back to my folder and it says toll lane. I don't actually need these files, these four files. So I can just delete these. Then I'm going to open this file and then I'm just going to turn this into a darker shade of gray. So I'm just going to set the fill color of the image like this. So I can save that. So now we should have these two things. And just for good measure, we can also just rename this to Toll Lane, since that's what we did. So 
So now that we have all our pre files, the next one I want to do is go back to the game. We actually want to just close all these windows. We're just going to quit the game, desktop. Then you want to relaunch the game again. Then once you have the game open, you want to go to your content manager, go to assets, and you want to disable all your assets. And we are doing this to make the asset editor load faster. So once you disabled all of your assets, you next want to go to your content. You want to actually want to go to your editors, go to asset editor, select new, and then just pick any one of those and press select. And you want to wait for it to load. So once you're in the asset editor, you want to go to prop. I'm just going to move this window over here so it's easier to see. I'm just going to use this 100 speed limit sign. Press continue. Then I want to select our decal model file. And then here under scale, I wanted to type in 100. And then I want to press continue. Then I want to just quickly zoom in. So the next one I want to do is just go to my debug console here, make sure it's open. If it isn't, just press the F7 key. Next, you want to copy this decal conversion script by Beformer. You can find the link to the script in the description. The script converts the current object we have now, which is a 3D shape, into a flat 2D decal. Before we can run it, we have to change these top values here since the size of the shape is different from the default values in the script. So I'll change these values from their defaults to 3, 3, 6. And then click on run. And now it's turned into a 2D decal. So now what I want to do is go to press escape. And I want to save the asset. And then if you want to, you can press this folder icon to make a custom thumbnail. But this is just fine since it's for a tutorial. I'm just going to name it. Toll in decal. So I'm just going to name it the same down here. I'm just going to press save like this. Then I can easily make another one pretty quickly. I can, also, I can just go back to my import folder. And if I have my image editor still open, I can just change this again if I want. Let's say I want to change it to, let's say, tram lane or something. And I can just save it again. I can just save as. It's tram lane. I can just copy these two other files here and also name it that. I can go back here, press escape, go to a new asset, and do the same thing. I'll select the new file. And we're pretty much doing the same thing as before. So I'll set the scale here to 100, press continue, and then just paste the same script again, change to these values, and now it's a decal, so I can just again save it. By pressing the escape key and clicking save asset, I'll name this tram lane instead of toll lane. Press save. So now I should be done with the asset editor. So I can just go to my, just gonna just go quit to main menu. I can just exit the game. I don't need mod tools anymore. So I'll just unsubscribe from it in the workshop. Then I can relaunch the game. 
Then once the game reloads, I want to go back to my content manager. And I want to check if my mods and assets are enabled. And if they aren't, I can press on the enable all button. Once I check that everything is enabled, I can load a save game. Okay, so once it's loaded, what we want to do next is just test out the new decals. So I'm just going to place a section of road down like this. And then search for toll lane and I should see it right here. I want to turn on property tree anarchy and like that, we have our new decal. Just place it like this. Same with the tram one. You can also just make a tram road quickly. I can put the decal like that. So that's pretty much how you can make custom road decals for city skylines. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.